Robinson has two campaign stops planned for Monday, one in Wilkesboro and another in Boone. I reached out to the locations of those events and they say to their knowledge, Robinson is still planning to be there. All of this comes as people on both sides of the aisle voice their opinions on that CNN report. Members of the Democratic Party had a pre-planned event in the triad to discuss Robinson's view on abortion. However, that topic changed once the report dropped yesterday. Among those at today's event was party chair Anderson Clayton, who says her party is seeing the benefits from the CNN report. Honestly, I mean, we've seen a wave of donations come in online. We've also seen a wave of volunteer activity online. We made sure last night after midnight happened, we were on social media trying to amplify the opportunity that people have to get involved with the party. But also people were just really concerned yesterday. State Treasurer Dale Falwell went head to head with Robinson back in March during primary elections. He says one of the reasons he ran against Robinson in the first place is because unlike him, Robinson does not represent conservative values. Yeah, the Republican Party that I have joined nearly 50 years ago is a party that's based on, you know, conservatism, which means to save uh, common sense, uh, humanity, humility and ethics and uh, this reporting that's going on today shows that he has none of those things. Democratic Senator Michael Garrett says it's concerning how much support Robinson has received over the years. From the pulpit, he has said some people just need killing. And Republicans stood with him. He's advocated for an extreme abortion ban with no exceptions. And Republicans stood with him. Guilford County's GOP says that Democrats have to resort to tarnishing Robinson's reputation in order to beat him. Unsubstantiated allegations have been directed at Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, propagated through the lapdog media without citing any sources. Democratic gubernatorial candidate Josh Stein, instead of running on his record or agenda, has chosen to attack Lieutenant Governor Robinson. We have confirmed that Robinson will not be in Wilmington tomorrow for a rally for former President Donald Trump. J.D. Vance is also expected to be in Charlotte on Monday. We have not confirmed whether Robinson will be there or not.